This is an AV-8B Harrier. This is a Tinker. And in this DCS World video, I'm going to show you how to take your Harrier and stick it in behind a Tanker and take some fuel. Hello, I'm Tactical Pascal. Welcome to the channel. I hope this finds you all safe and well. This is my AV-8B Harrier tanking tutorial. Let's get cracking. Now, before we can refuel, we need to find the tanker. So let me turn the gain down on the MPCD, and then you'll be able to see when I bring up the TACAN. Now, I've set up a tanker on a training mission in Nevada, so I'm going to click the TACAN button, select channel 31 and enter. I'm going to look and put it to receive. Then I'm going to select TACAN as my waypoint, and then I'm going to get a marker it's going to point towards where the tanker is. Next, I'm going to put the tanker's frequency in, 231.000, enter. And then I'm going to tell the big fat tanker that I want to come and grab some fuel. So I'm going to turn towards the west, towards the tanker's track, and I'm going to give him some uh, comms. So you can see on the MPCD, I've got a little marker just to the west there that tells me where the tanker is. So we've flown off to join the tanker, we found him and we're just cruising up into the left observation position right now, we're just checking our speed. Uh, the tanker, fortunately for me, has started his left hand turn for the orbit, typical. Uh, but we are heading now up towards the back to get ready to take some fuel. Now, same as the F-18 and the F-14 and all the other aircraft, do not look at the basket. Look at the pod on the wing and what we're going to try and do is position our little heading carrot in between the pod and the engine that's furthest to the outboard or the outboard left engine rather that'd, that'd make more sense pascal words yes now of course don't forget to put your probe out otherwise you'll just be flying in formation for a while and not taking any fuel after you've stabilized yourself in the left observation you're going to move behind the tanker and move a little bit closer and you're going to call ready pre-contact that lets the tanker know you're ready in the pre-contact position to start ready, taking fuel. Clear contact. Now, this is the point where everyone starts to get a little bit jittery. Now, I have a routine for each aircraft, and it's basically I don't look at the basket at any point during the refueling. Apart from when I just quickly glance in the Harrier to see if I'm lined up, because it is a little bit off the shoulder. I'm used to doing the F-18. Anyway, what we're going to line up is our heading carrot. And we're going to put that in between the engine and the pod. Next thing we're going to do is put the basket in between the refueling lights and the mirror. Again, we're not looking at that basket at all. And lastly, we want to have the hose somewhere near the top left of our HUD. And then before you know it, you're taking fuel. Now don't worry Will, you panic thinking that's quite a lot to remember, I'm going to go through it all again. That will leave you a chance to click the subscribe button down below. Right, let's go slow-mo. So I've paused it here so you can see the alignment of the heading carrot. It's in between the pod and the left outboard engine. If you're refueling on the right hand side you would just do the opposite so it'll be in between the right outboard engine. I've got the hose just to the top left of the uh, HUD itself and the basket went in between my refueling lights and the mirror. If you keep this sight picture, so to speak, manage your speed effectively, tanking will be very, very easy to do in the Harrier because it is quite difficult because it's the over the shoulder refueling pod, a refueling probe rather, um, but it can be done if you just follow this. It takes a little while to get used to where you position and how far forward or back you need to be, but with a bit of practice, you'll get there in the end. Refueling in the Harrier is a skill that I recommend any Harrier pilot gets quite good at because if you want to take off with any sort of weapon loadout, you're not going to be carrying uh, fuel tanks with you. And especially if you're taking off with a lot of bombs uh, from a boat, you're not going to want to be carrying much fuel. So you get airborne with little fuel, you go find a tanker, and then you're going to pick up your fuel in the air. Then go off, do your mission, land back on the boat. So with the Harrier, if you want to take a lot of weapons, you're going to take less fuel, which means you're going to have little legs to run around and you're fighting with. So you need to get good at tanking. And I hope this guide has provided uh, some useful assistance for you. If it has, don't forget, like I said, click that like and subscribe button because it helps me and I've just helped you. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, Tactical Pascal, out.